Hello, my strong and grounded Taurus women. Welcome to Creators on the Crest. I'm Stephanie, and this is a timeless bonus reading for you, Activate Abundance. Today, we'll be taking a deep dive into your energy surrounding wealth and abundance in all of its many forms. In addition to your sun sign, be sure to check out your moon, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter placements as well for additional context. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so only take what resonates. If you're interested in a personal reading, I'll have the links in the description below. And you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Creators on the Crest. Taurus ladies, let's go ahead and get started. You guys get my heart hand stamp today because I was at the gym and mineral show earlier. They stamped our hands for attendance, so... I did not get this at the Gem and Mineral Show. I've had this for a while. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> like you. All right, Taurus ladies, enough flattery. Let's get on with this reading. We're going to get your overall energy from the journey to the divine feminine here. And this one would like to come out and you get, ooh, awakening, spiritual ascension, change in behavior, slowing down to reflect, shift in priorities and values, and transformation of the inner world. Ooh, I love that. And I love that forest scene for you. So awakening. So as it has to do with activating abundance, you get awakening. That is very exciting, even though like the card, it feels very patient and slow, like your energy. It's very exciting, too. I'm going to pull some cards and position them around awakening here, and then I'll tell you what each position means, and we'll get into it. So you got the Wheel of Fortune. You got the Eight of Swords. You got the Two of Cups. Little bit of love in there. Love potion. The Five of Cups. Okay. Ooh, you're talking to me, that's for sure. And the Three of Pentacles. All right. All right, Taurus ladies. So, in the position of your ally today, as it comes to activating abundance for you, you get the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, I love this because... This means change, okay? When we're going through an awakening, it means change. There is probably really big change going on in your life right now. It is probably most definitely, if not 100% entirely <laughs> connected to your living situation, your financial abundance, how you work with money, how you move and maneuver with money, how you maneuver with um, your attractive forces and attracting in what you want. Everything is in a state of flux, but this is your ally. This is your friend. This is good. This is supposed to be happening. This is a part of this awakening. In the position down here in the right corner, this is your past, your subconscious blockage, and you get the eight of swords. A little bit of too much of that thinking that just gets you down, that negative thinking that kind of traps you. This is a self-imposed cage kind of feeling. This could come from a lack of confidence, a lack of knowing what's going to happen next, so I don't know, so it must be bad. Those kinds of feelings um, might be trying to creep in and, and kind of interfere with this awakening energy. So we'll get some clarifiers on that in your current energy. Ooh la la, you have a little bit of love coming in, an offer of love. Now, this could be somebody helping you on the emotional level, very much like through very loving acts of uh, loaning you money, giving you money, maybe giving you a gift. This could be a partnership in business that you might be working on, lining up with someone as a partnership. It looks to be very loving, very equal, very fair. I see this being um, a very strong energy in your current energies, but again, we'll get some clarifiers here in a moment. Now, in the clarity position, in the position of your lesson, you have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups. And wow. Okay. So the, I'm feeling multiple things. So I think I'm dealing with multiple different Taurus women here for sure. For some of you, this is about processing a partnership of the past, a love connection of the past. It it looks like it's been um, it's been ended 
and you are leaving it behind and you're you're having a little trouble there you're having a little maybe a bit of grief and that's okay that is going to be a natural part of life so for some of you this is about accepting the phase and the cycle that you're in even though it is one of great change for some of you there is a little bit of um a resistance to the change because again this is the 5 and 5s are are a number of change as well you can guarantee change when change not chains <laughs> change when you have a 5 so for some of you this is a bit of you know you're just you're kind of maybe like oh i don't know if i can handle this i don't know if i can do it there may be some doubts here and for others of you, it's this energy of these two full cups back here where you are, are learning where to focus your thoughts, where to focus your emotions. You're letting your emotions kind of tell you where your thoughts are. And I like that for you. I like you working with that emotional energy, especially with this in your current energy here. It looks like it might be coming natural for you to do so. And then in your power move, your activation, it's the three of pinnacles. This is a beautiful card of collaboration. These are creative minds coming together. These are artists coming together. These are architects coming together to build and to make something beautiful. And so this is your power move. There's, it has something to do with others. We got a three here, kind of a trinity kind of number. So whatever that might mean for you, this is your activation. You may be learning certain things from other people. You may be one of these people and there are two people around you who might be going through something similar or they've been through it and you're, you're kind of taking notes. You're kind of taking little, you know, little footnotes on, ooh, they did it. If they can do it, I can do it. I really like the feeling this card is giving me, especially with these emotional um, energies that you're, you're allowing yourself to learn from here. Okay. Let's get some clarifiers because this is a juicy one. I love it. Okay, for that Wheel of Fortune, we get the Five of Cups and you have that here in your lesson. So, wow, it's your ally and your lesson. So the lessons you are learning right now when it comes to your abundance channels opening up or being resistant to that is it's your ally too. It's your friend. It's supposed to be happening. So if you had any doubt... Now you don't have doubt. The King of Pentacles. Yes, this is the, the pinnacle, not the pentacle, but the pinnacle of Taurus energy. And I love that coming in because you're saying, you know, hey, wow, <laughs> I'm going through a lot of change. I'm learning some tough ass lessons here, okay? But I'm going to bring me all the way through this. This is my ally, my own natural personality, my own natural energies, me knowing and having that place in myself that and those friends around me and those energies around me that let me know that I can master this awakening, okay? I can master this awakening. I can open those damn abundant channels and when I do, let the flood <laughs> let the flooding begin. Love that energy for you there in your allied position. Okay, let's look at this subconscious block. No, we don't want to look at it. I feel it. Oh, these two come came out right together. Now, see, why wouldn't you want to look at it? You have the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups over this mental confusion and this mental angst and noise and this self-imposed cage. Deciding to love yourself through it, ladies. Deciding to learn how these emotions serve you and don't serve you and how the emotions connect that lead to these thoughts serve you or don't serve you and that you have choice here really observant energy very reflective energy very observant very much from a different angle than maybe you're used to and this is part of this awakening process when it when we looked at this card one of the points was slowing down to reflect a shift in priorities and values and transforming the inner world there. But that that slowing down to reflect, these are the reflection cards. You're slowing down to reflect so you can heal, heal up the rest of this past subconscious blockage that really does put a roadblock into your abundance channels flowing and things coming to you, you magnetizing things for yourself. Whoa. 
<laughs> we're going to look at this current energy getting clarified by the Hierophant, which popped right on out. And nope, that one, nope, this one. Four of Wands, okay. The Taurus men just got this Four of Wands in their current energy too, so there could be something more about the Four of Wands going on for Taurus. I know you all love your stability. So hopefully, in despite, despite all this change, you are finding that stability. So I really like these energies all together. This feels very good to me. You've got partnership, you've got offers of love, loving gestures, gifts. You've got the Hierophant, um, which is your spiritual authority, you stepping into being the author of your destiny, of your life, of your purpose, of your skill. Uh, another five here, by the way. So five is the number for you. And we, this is a a card that naturally comes along with the awakening process because instead of taking a look outside yourself for the spiritual answers you're taking a look within and you're 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 becoming this spiritual authority for yourself and this process is bringing you a lot of stability a lot of stability and celebration so you may actually be through this great change. I mean, you could be moving, you could be going through breakups, you could be, you know, going through all kinds of stuff. It could be manifesting differently for each of you. Job changes, that kind of thing. But through it, you you are carrying um, like this energy of, and this is in your current energy, you're carrying this like, I know it's going to work out. I know it's going to be okay. I know I'm going to land on my feet. I know this is going to settle down once I get through some of these energies. Yes. Okay. Let's clarify this lesson, which is also your, you have that in your ally of this five of cups. Remember, this is a natural part of this whole experience. The four of pentacles and the justice card. Right. Okay. So in your lesson, your lesson here is to bring balance to yourself okay particularly um, how you're grounding how you're nurturing your resources we can sometimes look at the four of pinnacles as a bit of a card of stinginess or you know not wanting to let the the resources we have go um, but when you're in a cycle of change i feel that this is more about you figuring out how to move these things around and how you can align yourself, not with the resistance, but with the flow, the flow of, of life, the flow of money in and out. I think that money's going to move in and out a lot for you over the next few months, whenever you're seeing this. So it, it it's going to be a time of change. It's going to be a time of movement. And you want to really be considering what to hold on to, what to let go. You might want to also consider there may be some possessions that you would like to sell that kind of represent your old life. And it's time to put them on Facebook Marketplace, put them on eBay and, and go ahead and let go of them. And that's going to bring you the balance with the Justice card here. This is a Libra energy. This is balance coming in. So you've got the stability that you're blending in. You've got, you know, this emotional reflection and, and this is this is balance, balancing out the thoughts. You can see she's holding a sword in this card. And this is your lesson. You are you are learning to balance multiple elements and elemental energies at once in your life through a period of great change. So <laughs> whew, good work. Because this is not easy. It's beautiful but it's challenging. All right, let's take a look at this three of pinnacles in your power move. Got this trinity here that I want to talk about. The two of swords. And the ace of cups. Very interesting. Again, here you have the sword and the justice card, the pinnacles and the cups. Here you have the swords, the cups, and the pinnacles. <laughs> You have cups and, and a sword here, pinnacle, cups. Yeah, see how these um, uh, wands and cups, you've got all the elements represented here and you're moving through quite a bit. Now, very interesting that you get this two of swords. For you, what I feel like this means as it shows up in your power move position is that 
you can either choose to resist and get yourself in a state of confusion, which will cause you not to move very much and cause you to maybe feel stuck, or you can trust that whichever way you go, like let's say you're moving and you have a choice between two different locations or two different houses or condos or whatever it might be, whichever way you go, you're going to be okay. Your cup will be full. Your heart, your cup, your relationships, the love, everything is going to work out. You've got this beautiful collaboration here. So keep in mind, because you do have this past energy of tending to get maybe a little up in the head a little bit too much. When you find yourself doing that, just remember telling yourself, no matter what path I choose, I'm going to be okay. Because movement is so important here and flow is so important. This is more of a stuck energy up in the mind. So it's about making decisions and then going with the flow of those decisions and knowing that you've got your support team here. You've got people that have been through this. You've got people that are walking it with you. You have you have the people around you. And it's it's feeling very natural to allow yourself to be supported by those people. And I think that's important for you. Instead of Staying stubborn and resistant, allowing your tribe, your soul family to support you through this because that's usually who shows up on a journey like this, <laughs> your soul family, your tribe. All right, Taurus ladies, what an awesome reading. Let's close it off with a runimal card here. And these are the runes. This one slid out, so we're going to roll with it. Manas, manas. This represents mankind, the self, personal growth, connection to man, the world, and community. When strong people come together, a strong community is formed. This is a time to look at yourself and your attributes. Consider what you bring to the table and how you are a benefit to society. This is also a time to recognize any weaknesses in yourself and then approve on them to better your worth and your future contributions. Now, I will also say this to me is connected to an Aquarius kind of feeling energy. So you may want to see where you might have that Aquarius as an ally in your chart as well as you work through this. This is a, a natural part of awakening as well because we do have to take a look at our connection to other people, to our communities, to humanity as a greater whole. Taurus ladies, cool reading. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff, and I will see you next time.